Hi all, it's Brandy. And today I thought I would do, I have um, my iPad in my lap for the list. I thought I would do this facing another direction. I wanted to show you, let me just blink. I'm gonna get dark. Can you see how pretty it is outside? Can you see that? So pretty outside. Okay, so I think I can kind of, hmm. There we go. I think you can still see my face a little bit, but I thought I would share the beautiful outside with you. Um, might be a little bit of a challenge with the cards. I have my iPad in my lap. I wanted to do a VR response to, um, it's actually from Astaria Sen, but she did hers was a VR to Avery Fawcett, hashtag tarot characters, and it was so much fun. And so, I decided to do that today facing the other way so you can see the beautifulness outside in my Phoebe from Friends hairdo because I don't know what I'm thinking. So I'm going to jump right in and hopefully I won't be too long winded because I know the videos can be ridiculous. So the first question is the card you don't want to meet in the dark alley. There's eight questions. So I actually have two and my first response. <laughs> My first thought was the Ten of Swords. And I have two different versions here. And <laughs> mostly because in a dark alley, I'm more than likely to, please ignore the nails, I need to get my nails done. But I'm more than likely to trip and fall over this or like, I was, I'm a dancer and so we're very clumsy and I'm, I would probably like fall into a sword or something and then I'd have a dead person and nobody wants to find a dead person. That's just not how I roll. And so that was my first reaction. And then I thought about it a little bit harder and I was like, hmm, I should probably think about this a little bit harder. But I still ended up in the same vein because I was like, I don't wanna come across the two of swords in a dark alley. Now this one kind of looks serene, you know, like it doesn't look too bad, but this one looks fully blind. She don't know where she's going. and. Like in a dark alley, you know, they're gonna be listening for you those swords. There's two swords like how do you fight swords? I'm already kind of blind dark alley. I <laughs> I don't want to come across a blind person with two swords <laughs> Wearing a dress that they might fall. I mean Currently, it's not spring yet. So if I came across them in a dark alley, that would probably mean that they were a little bit bonkers and blind, and if they each had a sword, I would be very unhappy. So that is my answer for who I do not want to come across in a dark alley. I know, I think everybody was kind of like, I should pick the devil, but then you put thought into it, and you're like, hmm, hmm. So number two question is card you want to take to Disney World, and this took zero thought. Just saying. Zero thought, because this is my husband, and he is so much fun at Disney World that I just was like, this, there's it's not even a question, didn't take any thought. And that is the King of Cups, okay? So King of Cups, you know, compassionate, patient, thinking of others, um, gonna be kind of organized, but kind of flexible, interested in like a little drinky drink, you know, but, paying attention, he's always looking out and paying attention to things, knows the details. And like, if you're gonna stand in line for hours at Disney World, or I have six kids, <laughs> one of whom is autistic, you're gonna take that to Disney World? <laughs> you, you need some patience and you want it to be a king, right? Because the money and people will respect him and he stands up above the crowd, which my husband does, cause he's tall, but also because um, when we went to Disney World, he wore a red hat so I could find him, a, a red baseball cap. And he would put his arm up like this whenever he was walking through a crowd so I could always find him. And I just love, you know, he's got the crown, he's got the staff, which he could put up in the air if you needed to find him or if he needed to beat some people back, you know? That's not happening at Disney World, but you get my point. So number two answer is the King of Cups. 
So I apologize about the lighting. Facing back so you can see the prettiness means it's gonna go in and out, which could be annoying. And also the dogs are barking because they're getting walked and so they get very excited. Sorry, it is what it is. Number three's question was, card you want when someone close dies? And you know what? This was also very easy. It was the Ten of Cups. Because when somebody close to me has died in the past, I've really, my family has been who I turned to. Whether it was a phone call, um, my husband or a parent, um, I've always turned to family. And some of that is extended family, not my blood family. But I want that reliability, that beautiful relationship, that um, everything the Ten of Cups represents and everything you can see in these pictures where they're taking care of each other, they're physically paying attention to each other because that can be really difficult in death. Um, and kind of the rejoicing at life that you see in this with the rainbow and the baby just rejoicing at life. Like when someone dies, I really appreciate when people can be positive and remember their life. And the dancing here, I just, I love, I, you know, a good Irish wake has music and dancing and it's just kind of how I roll. So that would be my answer. Number four card is you want to get drunk or high with. Well, I don't want to get high with anyone because I immediately fall asleep because I'm a natural insomniac and that's actually how you can tell if someone's a real insomniac or not. They will fall asleep if they get high. But getting drunk with someone, I picked the card that represents the person I get drunk with the most in my world and that is the Empress. That is somebody who has their crap together in real life but is so much fun if you get a drink in them. Um, and it doesn't have to be a female, but like the love everyone, be happy. If they were drunk, they would probably be laughing. There would probably be music and just overall frivolity and not the kind of person who's gonna start hitting people or fighting with people, you know, not nasty drunk, like a happy, joyful person who, you know, probably has some kids or likes to take care of people because we want to be able to get up the next morning. <laughs> um, and just an overall, like, fantasticness. Everything that the Empress represents, everything about how she looks, you know, she's going to want to be dressed for the occasion all the way to the top of her head, to the tip of her toes, and she's going to want that fantastic, um, ethereal vibe to go with her and that is the person that I would want to get drunk with because I just love that. Plus, generally speaking, there would be flowers where we were going and that just makes it all the more better. The more better? <laughs> English. English is funny. Especially when you're not properly speaking it. Let's just be clear. Okay, card number five is the one you would give a friendship bracelet to and the map to your treehouse. So, I picked the fool because if you when you were little like wasn't the person with the cool umbrellas like the best person and this guy's gonna bring a dog to the party like he's he's all set to play he, lots of light joyfulness you know he clearly knows how to dance i mean this is this is a perfect attitude i'm just saying and um He's not going to bring a big, big, scary dog, apparently. It's going to be like a cute little happy dog. And just going to bring his own snacks, you know? He's fully invested in my treehouse. And he probably would wear a friendship bracelet till it broke and fell off. So I think the fool would be the one. That would be my guy. My person. Card number six was card you would let borrow your car. So let's be clear. I picked this one because it has my initials and this is clearly me. I'm not going to give my card to anyone. <laughs> I'm just saying. But in spirit of playing along, like let's pretend I would let someone borrow my car, which generally speaking I would not. I picked the King of Pentacles because the King of Pentacles, he's going to have money to cover 
whatever happens, if there's any issue. He's gonna fill it up with gas and bring it back because it's not gonna put him out. He's gonna be paying attention, no, you know, very reliable with it. He's gonna be trustworthy. He's very serious. Look at how serious. Oh, especially this one. Very serious. Why so serious? They didn't answer. It's because it's about money. I mean, aren't we all serious about money? And I just, you know, when I was in Jordan, the men with the big heavy robes were the ones that the, were the most looked up to. So I figure he's got big heavy robes, he's in charge of a huge amount of money, or at least a very big frisbee, and that seemed like a good hedge for letting someone borrow my car. So there you go. All right. For card number seven is card you ask for advice on a tough relationship. So I picked temperance. And the reason I picked temperance is because she looks like she would listen to me. And I can be extremely long-winded. In case you haven't watched my videos, they just, I just go on and on. And I think that people don't really hear me because I get off on tangents that are insane, like this one right now. And also, she just looks very peaceful. You know, she, obviously she's got that angelic moment behind her, but also she's gonna be able to tell me what, how to keep it balanced and how to use what I have in front of me and how to mix emotion and logic. And she will just be able to keep me informed you know, with the light of it all, but also I think she would be very um, honest and making sure that I was using everything that I could in the relationship. Um, and I think she would tell me what I could do to fix things in a um, an immediate way, because I think she would be able to tell me based on my actual, um, sorry, the candles are reflecting. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but like sometimes in a relationship you have to um, keep your head about you and not go off on an emotional craziness. And I, I feel like she would, she would rein that in. She'd be like, hey, what part of you played? What part of they played? How can you balance it? And okay, can we just be clear? I would just talk to her because she's got wings. Like if I'm gonna talk to anybody, if it's a choice between non-winged person and winged person, I'm gonna go for the winged person. So temperance, I mean, that's just how it is. And the last question is card you would take on a shopping spree. And for this one, this seemed really obvious. I kind of surprised that more people haven't picked this one, but then it got even more obvious and I'll explain why. 10 of pentacles, I mean, all the money, right? If I'm going on a shopping spree, I want all the money, 10 of pentacles. <sighs> and then it gets better because my dad's super bald. Boom, there he is. And my dad likes dogs. There's a dog and there's a dog. There's a couple of dogs over here. There's just like lots of dogs. So I was like, well, my dad loves to go shopping. I hate shopping, but <laughs> I will not take my dad shopping. And then I was like, or any 10 of pentacles moment with just like the man with the cash. Like, and if he's a cool bald guy, yay, that makes it even better. Especially if he's a bald guy followed by really cool dogs. Like, all of that sounds fun. When you go shopping and there's really cute dogs, you know, like in the little carriers and stuff, isn't that the most fun? You have to stop everything you're doing. If not to just look at it and acknowledge, you're like, you know, cause sometimes you, you think to yourself, there's a dog in a baby carrier, I'm so confused. But other times the dog is real cute and you have to, you have to, acknowledge makes the shopping trip all that much more interesting so ten of pentacles is my answer for the character i would want to go shopping with um also because when we were in jordan it was pretty funny um like you see how this dog is just like this is all rock and he's like just in there there were dogs everywhere in jordan everywhere and they just follow people around like that and so this card also reminded me of that and it made me really happy because i was like well, if I'm gonna go shopping, I want the happy moment of the dogs following people like they did in Jordan. Just so much fun. 
Anyway, this was really fun and I wanted to thank Avery for putting it together and coming up with the questions. I appreciate you for watching my silliness in response to this VR and also to, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember her name, her real name. I can't remember. It's Astaria Sen. I will try to link below. I sometimes forget or put a card up something. I'll do something if I can figure out how to I'm really bad at editing. Um, otherwise, do me a favor. If you do this VR, please just let me know down below if you're thinking about it so I can find you. I am going to try to watch them because sometimes I don't physically watch them. I listen to them as I clean and do stuff during the day. Um, but it's really fun and I'd love to hear the stories that people come up with. I hope that you are enjoying your weather as much as I'm enjoying my move into spring as we go into it. And I hope that you have a great day. Remember to look up. Bless it.